Hi everyone. In this webinar, we are going to cover the NRI quota. This will be for all India and also for the states. So under NRI quota, OCA and PAO candidates are also eligible. So let's get started with the all India MCC counseling and let's look at the quotas that come under it. Okay. So first is uh, AMU NRI and deemed NRI. So these are the two quotas that come under all India MCC counseling. Let's look at what the eligibility is. First is the candidates are NRI candidates, then they are directly eligible for this quota. The second option is through sponsorship. Okay, so parents or sponsor of the candidates, if they hold NRI status at the time of admission, then they'll be able to sponsor the candidate for this NRI seat. Third thing is, we told about sponsorship, right? Who will be able to sponsor these candidates? Okay, so sponsorship first is parents. So parents will be able to sponsor the candidate. So if the parents are not NRI, who will be able to sponsor next? Next will be the real brother or sister, real brother or sister of the father, which is the uncle or aunt on the father's side and uncle or aunt on the mother's side, paternal and uh, maternal uncle or aunt, then father and mother of the father and mother of the father. So this is grandparents. So father's side grandparents and mother's side grandparents are also eligible. Finally, first degree paternal and maternal cousins. So first degree meaning your father's direct brother's uh, son or daughter. Okay. They will come under the first degree paternal or maternal cousins category. This is also applicable for father and mother. Okay. So this we have covered the eligibility. Next we look at the documents for AMU NRI and deemed NRI. So under documents, the first thing is the documents claiming the sponsorship is an NRI. So like we said, someone can sponsor the candidate. So to prove that the sponsor is a NRA, they have to submit a document. This can be a passport visa of the sponsor. Second is the relationship of NRA with the candidate. So like we said, the, the relationship with the uh, relationship with the candidate and the sponsor is very important. So here you have to, they have to prove that the relationship uh, of the NRA with the candidate is important. So, uh, so here uh, a, a document has to be produced to prove the relationship of the NRA with the candidate. Third is the affidavit from the sponsorer that he or she will sponsor the entire course fee of the candidate. So uh, what happens is if uh, if someone is sponsoring the course for the candidate, they, they if they don't pay the uh, remaining fee, then they won't be able to continue the course, correct? So that's why this affidavit is asked. So affidavit from the sponsorer is also required. Fourth is the embassy certificate of the sponsorer. So this is this has to be got from the embassy, the, the consulate in their country which they are in. So if they're in the USA, they'll have to go to the US embassy and get this certificate. Uh, fifth is the need scorecard of the candidate. The scorecard everyone will, uh, everyone will have. You can uh, download the scorecard and uh, you'll be able to submit this uh, as a document. Finally, family tree not notarized by the Tasaldar. So this was an additional eligibility, uh, el uh, this was an additional document that, uh, that was asked during the MCC All India Counseling in the round three notification. So please keep this also ready along with the other documents. Next, we'll go to the Himachal Pradesh NRI. So in Himachal Pradesh uh, NRI seats, there were uh, 20 government NRI seats and 23 private NRI seats. Okay. So this is uh, rare. Seeing a NRI seat in the government college is rare. So here we have this. So in uh, Himachal Pradesh NRI, there is two priorities that are mentioned here. First priority is candidate is NRI and they're also from the from their, uh, they have a citizenship status with the Himachal Pradesh origin. So the candidate is uh, of Himachal Pradesh origin and they should also provide a document to, uh, to say that they will be able to support the whole course. Okay. Next is the priority two. So, so there are uh, NRA seats, correct? So seats will be allotted to the priority one candidates. After the priority one list is exhausted, then seats will be uh, allotted to the priority two. So in case of non-availability of priority one candidates, then priority two candidates will be allotted. 
So now, next let's look at what are the requirements for NRI sponsored candidates. So the uh, priority two is the NRI sponsored candidates. So let's look at what are the requirements. So first thing is the sponsor shall be a blood relative to the applicant. That is like we saw earlier, brother, uh, brother or their children, sister or their children, maternal uncle, then uh, paternal uncle, uh, then we also have uh, grandfather, maternal side grandfather, paternal side grandfather and also like in MCC All India Counseling, a family tree is also asked here and this has to be issued by the Tasildar. okay. This is for establishing the relationship between you and the sponsor. The next is NRI status certificate issued by the Indian Embassy. Just like All India, here also you, uh, the, the person who is sponsoring has to get a status certificate from the Indian Embassy. The third thing is copy of the passport with the valid visa. So this is also important. So the sponsor has to uh, provide their uh, passport copy and their valid visa also is required. Sponsor with student or visiting visa or temporary visa of any nature is not eligible to sponsor. That means if the sponsor is on a temporary visa or on a student visa, then they will not be able to sponsor the candidate who wants to take up the NRI seat. Shall have the annual income sufficient to support the course of the study. So like we said, the course of the study, through the course of the study, the, the fee has to be paid, right? So the annual income, the complete course fee has to be, uh, has uh, the complete shall have the annual income sufficient to support the course of the study or his work. So in this case, the, the course fee has to be uh, available with the sponsor. So sponsorship, uh, the person who is sponsoring the candidate should have this amount with them. Next, we'll go to the documents to be submitted for NRA candidates in Himachal Pradesh. Uh, result card is required, qualifying examination. So there are a list of documents that are mentioned here. You can take a look at these set of documents. And these are the set of documents that are uh, to be submitted by the NRA candidate. These are the set of documents that are uh, to be submitted by the parents. So in we saw the category one. So where the parents will have to submit these documents. Next, in category two, if there are documents that are required, then these set of documents are uh, to be submitted if a candidate is coming under the category two for NRA. And this, this is for the uh, candidate and this set of documents is for the NRA sponsor itself. They'll have to submit these set of documents. So like we saw earlier, uh, visa, um, NRA status certificate and the NRA bank book, employment certificate, all these documents will be required. So please take a note of this for the Himachal Pradesh NRA seats. So in case, so, uh, so here an additional point that is given here is, if NRA seats in a private colleges are rem remaining after this round, then what will happen is they will be converted and filled with the management quota and unreserved candidates in third round. So in the third round, if there are NRA seats remaining, then the NRI seats will be converted to management quota and underserved candidates will also be able to take these seats. Next, we'll go to Tamil Nadu management quota. So Tamil Nadu management quota is a counseling on its own. So to be eligible for the NRI seats that come under Tamil Nadu management quota, this is the eligibility criteria. So we'll go through this. So candidates should be of Indian origin settled in foreign country or candidates should be born in a foreign country and whose parents are of Indian origin. And children of Indian citizens stay abroad for employment or business. So this, so uh, both this, uh, uh, both this, uh, these two points, they cover the OCI and PAO candidates. So these are the NRA points. So uh, if the Indian citizens stay abroad for employment or business, then they come under the NRA category. Children of Indian citizens deputed abroad by PSU or children of official of the central or state government deputation on abroad or Candidates financially supported by spouse or blood relatives or legal guardians living abroad. So this is again a sponsorship clause where you will have a sponsor who, who if they are an NRI, they will be able to sponsor you for the NRI seats. Next is the documents for 
next the documents for the NRA quota in Tamil Nadu management quota. So uh, first thing is NRA status of the financial support issued by the Indian embassy of the respective country. Okay. Next is the certificate of relationship between NRA financial supporter. This is the relationship document. Next is the bank account passbook. And finally, there is payment of development charges. So this amount has to be uh, paid before the admission. Okay. So in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, the NRA fee structure is around uh, 25, uh, 25 to 30 lakhs. But there are also hidden fees involved in Tamil Nadu management quota. So uh, please be aware of this. Next is the uh, documents for OCE candidates if they are applying for NRA. So like we saw in Tamil Nadu management quota, OCE candidates and PIO candidates are also eligible. So if you are an OCE candidate, then you will have to take these documents with you. So in Tamil Nadu, after the second round, the NRA seats, if, the, if any NRA seats are remaining, then they will be converted to the NRA lab seats. Next, we will go to Kerala. So in Kerala, this is the eligibility. So the candidate who depends on his or her father, mother, brother or sister. Next is the, there is a spouse eligibility also. So this spouse eligibility is something that we didn't see in the other states. So husband or wife is also mentioned here. And brothers and sisters inclusive of first cousins of father or mother. And half brother, half sister and adopted father or adopted mother. This is again a unique clause which is not mentioned in other NRA eligibility criteria. If they are NRIs, then they will be able to sponsor you. Next, let's look at the documents that are required. Passport copy, visa attested by the embassy and uh, OC documents of the sponsors. If the sponsor is working there, then they have to provide the employment based uh, documents. Visa of the sponsor and uh, certificates establishing the relationship of the sponsor with the candidate. So please note that this the last point right this document is asked in most of it where if uh, if a sponsor is uh, sponsoring you for the nra quota then you will have to provide this certificate so all these documents uh, please keep it ready before the counseling starts because certain states will ask you to upload this document directly some states will ask you to uh, you know uh, physically uh, submit these documents all these scenarios will be there so keep it ready before the counseling uh, starts Next, we go to Telangana. In Telangana, this is the eligibility criteria. So all candidates, all candidates in India who, uh, who are NRIs, OCI, PAO candidates, they'll be able to apply for these seats. And in case of a sponsorship criteria, so if someone is financially uh, supporting you, then they should be a blood relative, father, mother, brother, sister, uncle or aunt only. So here it's uh, mentioned only, so few, Criteria which is mentioned in All India is not present in Telangana. So if you are applying in Telangana, please uh, make a note of this. Next, we look at the documents. Under documents, NRA status certificate of the financial supporter. So this is again what we saw earlier. So these set of documents are required in Telangana. Uh, bank passbook, uh, passport of the NRA financial supporter and the sponsorship certificate. This is all required. So in uh, Telangana, if there are leftover seats, seats in the NRA category, then they will be filled up with willing, uh, willing candidates of the management quota uh, merit list during the final phase of the counseling. So uh, like other rounds here, like other counselings here also, there is, uh, there is a conversion that takes place if the seats are not filled up. And in uh, Telangana, there is a Muslim minority NRA seats and female NRA seats are also available so if you uh, come under one of this category then there is a there is benefit for you in applying in this telangana council next we'll go to andhra pradesh management uh, quota counseling this is the eligibility so andhra pradesh and telangana they have a similar eligibility policy and these are the set of documents that are required so this set of documents is not extensive so if you are interested uh, if you're uh, if you're interested to apply for this counseling please go to the uh, counseling website look at the brochure and you can take a look at all the documents so if you have any uh, doubts regarding these documents you can also get in touch with us we'll be able to clarify your uh, queries so in andhra pradesh there is also muslim minority seats that are available okay 
So uh, Andhra Pradesh and uh, Telangana both have uh, minority seats and please uh, note of it. So here uh, next we'll go to Delhi state. So in Delhi, uh, so in Delhi there is a uh, Delhi University and IPU University, but both of these don't have NRA seats. Okay, so there are no NRA seats under Delhi and IP universities, but there is a, a deemed college in Delhi, Hamdad Institute of Medical Sciences. So this is a deemed college, right? So deemed colleges, like we saw on the first slide, deemed colleges have NRA quota. But this NRA quota is does not, these seats do not come under the Delhi counseling, Delhi IPU counseling, it does not come under. So these seats are only available through the MCC All India counseling under the deemed NRA quota, okay? Next is the Gujarat, uh, Gujarat NRA quota eligibility we'll look at. So in Gujarat, only Gujarat candidates are eligible as per the state eligibility rules. So uh, the a candidate shall be non-resident Indian or his or her parents. Um, so the candidate has to be an NRA or their parents can sponsor them. So in absence of their parent, their legal guardians uh, have to be NRAs. Only if this eligibility criteria is satisfied, then they'll be able to apply for Gujarat NRA seats. We'll look at uh, these documents. There is a huge set of documents that are given here, which are related to uh, NRA uh, candidates. So please take a look at this. Uh, there is, uh, if they have passed from 12 foreign boards, then uh, there is an equivalent certificate that needs to be provided. If the grades are mentioned in, uh, grades are mentioned, marks are not mentioned, then you have to, uh, you know, submit the mark sheet and get a valid, uh, you know, uh, the you have to submit the mark sheet and valid document issued by the concerned com competent authority. So you'll have to go to the uh, university in Gujarat and get a equivalent certificate here. And uh, fourth is the passport. In case you have an old passport, that also needs to be uh, submitted. Visa permit, PR card, citizenship card, and finally undertaking is also required. Next, we'll go to uh, Haryana. In Haryana, there are 18 government seats under the NRA category. Uh, PIOs, OCI and foreign nationals are, so here there is foreign nationals are also eligible, uh, who have qualified uh, need uh, can apply under the NRA category. So in Haryana, these candidates are eligible, but there is a priority order. So let's look at what the priority orders. First is, actual NRAs, OCIs or PAO candidates who are originally belonging to the state of Haryana. This is the first priority. So uh, seats will be allotted based on this priority. Second is the children of NRAs, OCI, PAO who was, who's originally belonged to the Haryana state. So this is the sponsored category. Third is actual NRAs, OCI, PAOs who belong to the Indian state. So who belong to a different state or union territory other than Haryana. Fourth is Again, so the fourth is similar to the second point here. This children of NRAs, this is again a sponsored category, but the candidates are from outside Haryana. Real brother and sister of the candidate, then these, uh, they will also be able to uh, sponsor the uh, candidate. If the first degree relation of the student is NRA, so the fifth is the real brother or sister, the fifth priority, sixth priority is first degree relation of the student is NRA, then they, they will be able to sponsor the student. And they should, uh, they should satisfy one of the following condition. So this in the sixth, there are so many points that are given here, right? So this complete set is the sixth priority. Let's look at this. The candidate should be the nearest relation. So they have also defined what the nearest relation is here. So re, uh, real brother and sister of the father, which is the uncle or aunt, they will be able to sponsor. Uh, then maternal uncle or aunt will be able to sponsor. Grandfather, grandmother will be able to sponsor. Maternal grandmother, grandfather will be able to sponsor. And first degree cousins, both from the paternal and maternal side will be able to sponsor. And they've, uh, and they've said that this person has to be a NRA. So if the person is not an NRA, then they will not be able to sponsor the candidate. Such persons should be residing abroad and they should have it looked after such student as a guardian of student and evidence too. So that means <clears throat> once they sponsor the student, then they become the 
they are acting as the guardian of the student and they should uh, and they should provide evidence so like in other states we sh we saw the relationship uh, relationship certificate similar to that uh, a relationship certificate is also to be provided here and the final uh, priority is the foreign national so we saw foreign nationals here and here comes the final priority so and uh, we'll go to uh, punjab here so punjab is the last state that we are covering here so here eligibility there are two types of eligibility here first is the nra or nra uh, children of nra who originally belong to the state of punjab okay so here you can see that the first uh, category goes to punjab candidates or children of nras who belong to punjab second category is for candidates uh, who uh, belong to other indian state other than punjab and oca and pao candidates are also eligible in punjab <clears throat> these are the set of documents that are required in punjab if uh, you are interested in punjab you can take a look at this or screenshot this this will help you uh, uh, get ready for the punjab counseling in punjab counseling uh, to apply for the nra there is a offline form that needs to be downloaded and you have to submit this uh, submit this form to uh, and only then you will be able to apply for these NRA seats. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, covered covered the NRA quota and eligibility and documents for all these states. Now we'll go to the Q&A section. We have some questions ready. So once the uh, um, just give us few minutes, we will uh, get these uh, questions up. Then we'll start answering your queries. Hi everyone. So uh, welcome back. Uh, we are here with a list of queries. We had gone through the NRA uh, requirements. Uh, there are some queries on NRA requirements for Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, etc. We'll just try to pull them uh, up uh, currently. You Noel, know, we can pull them up. Uh, uh, by the time uh, we have this, we'll have that information and we'll also share that with you. We've got the details for everything, but we wanted this to be a, a not a detailed session with 20 different states uh, being available. Like we said, we will be conducting separate sessions for each counseling, and that there you will have. The entire session, uh, list of uh, uh, eligibility for whatever has been requested now whatever states uh, for which you have information requested we will get that too uh, question uh, i have uh, given as general in neat application but actually belong to obc is it possible to change my community in state counseling so uh, the candidate has given what as general in uh, the counseling and uh, uh, so if you have given general in neat application form till there are two counselings there are multiple counsellings you will be applying right all india and state correct state you have multiple states uh, which you might want to apply whichever state your state is and you have all india counselling uh, since you have applied as general in your neat application form all india will take the same general category okay why because in the application form itself, it was clearly mentioned if you belong to OBC non creamy layer, then apply as OBC. Uh, it will be used for all India counseling, is what would have been mentioned in the NTA application form very clearly. And if you had applied as Gen, till last year, there was no option provided for the last many years, no option provided to change from Gen to OBC. So, if you have applied as Gen, it will continue to be Gen in All India Counseling. Unfortunately, you will not be able to change that. There is only one very, very minor uh, uh, action that somebody, some people take to get this change. That too has been futile, as in basically many have not succeeded. They go legal to try to figure out in case they will be able to change to OBC. Some people do not know that they are OBC or rather... At that point in time, they might not have fallen under OBC or the certificates would have been delayed. But later, genuinely, they would have been got an OBC certificate. They would have missed out. Some one or two cases when in the high courts, courts direct them to change to OBC. This usually happens when there is a big impact as far as general to OBC is. Usually in all India counseling, the impact is limited to a thousand ranks or so. At any rank range, if you look at it, in all India counseling, Gen versus OBC is a thousand rank thing. This is only in uh, in government quota seats. Anyways, there is reservation, right? Deemed there is no reservation, so that is not possible. Now the question, in case uh, we understand the question, if you if you are able to understand the question, 
it is possibly to do with what eligibility here you look at the rank over here possibly if it has to do with eligibility then if you are between 40 to 50 percentile and want to gain eligibility all india it may not be possible but states in your state you might be bc or bca bcb etc or scbc or mbc obc any of these categories depending upon your state you will fall under this category if you come above 40 percentile in this category in your state you have a certificate here then your state will make you eligible for state counseling whatever you entered in all india this neat application form is not relevant so you will be eligible for your state counseling no issues at all but you have to apply under any of these categories because your obc we assume that you fall under some of these categories with respect to your state you need to have your state backward class or whichever class you fall, fall under uh, other backward class mbc obc rbc etc whatever classes you fall under that certificate you will need to get and then apply for the state counseling don't worry about this neat application for gen that impacts only all india counseling not the state counseling because it says that 40 percentile this is the quality uh, 50 percentile this is the qualification don't take it as gen 50 percentile 180 plus marks etc you will still be eligible as obc in your state uh, if i once change my category from indian to nra in my home state would i be eligible for normal government management seats in other states yes you would be eligible for government and management seats in other states this normal government management seats in other states depend upon the depends upon the other states eligibility let us say you are looking at all india counseling and government seats yes you are eligible but not maybe for this rank but you are eligible but in no other state other than your home state usually you have what government state seats eligibility it should be your home state or your home educated state or your parents should be uh, working there if such an eligibility exists then yes so other states eligibility what we can say is let us say you are eligible for some other state and you are eligible for management quota seat there or let us say some state allows you eligibility for government quota seat because your parents have been residents there you are a domicile there etc your home state is uh, you are a uh, an origin of that state etc your home state you are changing indian to nri or in all india you are changing from indian to nri whatever you do this particular state's eligibility will not be taken away that is separate all india what you do in another state what you do doesn't matter in this specific state's eligibility whatever you are eligible for in this particular state you will still be eligible by irrespective of whether you have changed my category this query comes in a lot of forms uh, basically the biggest query is all india may i change from uh, uh, indian to nri how i send across documents etc etc earlier itself the documents will be requested i change from indian to nri in all india i will still be eligible for government seats note this i will still be eligible for management or paid seats so this nri is only an additional set of seats in all india in my state i want to apply for government or management that is separate this has nothing to do this indian to nri sending emails to mcc has nothing to do with your state here you can go ahead as is this does not impact at all in fact this does not impact even all india counseling you will be eligible for all the other seats under all india counseling too now that is one thing and uh, my score is 390 we'll get back okay category okay how do i i don't have any real relative of foreign see uh, very clearly rules are rules so you need to have a first degree relative in uh, odisha if uh, uh, correct me if i am wrong in odisha first priority goes to odisha native or domicile nri candidates correct and then second priority goes to other state nri and then it goes to seats go to you are from odisha odisha state candidates under open category everybody is eligible irrespective of whether you are nra or not so this i do we are not sure whether many states uh, is fine yeah so uh, this we are not sure if uh, there are any uh, seats which will come over here after bypassing 
these two priorities. Only after allotting everybody under Odisha domicile NRA, it will even come to the other state NRA. Most of the seats get pick up, picked up here. Uh, the thing is, you will anyways have to have documents very clearly stating that this is your uh, sponsor. In case you don't have a sponsor, it is extremely difficult to get seats under NRA. You might have to go with the management quota seats. Uh, if you have a sponsor, because you need to get an embassy certificate uh, from the country of origin and a copy of the passport has to be produced and a family tree usually notarized also has to be produced. So it is pretty difficult if you don't have a sponsor. See, uh, if the question is, uh, we assume that the question is towards, uh, okay, Balaji College, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. Can we just check that? Uh, it is a private college, uh, right? So it comes under Odisha State Council. We can uh, just check and... This is under Chhattisgarh, right? Okay, it comes under uh, Odisha State Council. See, all you need to do is go to Zainad and check whether, whether, where it comes under. But we'll just check and let you know. And 470. See, uh, any government college, you can check under All India, but still this looks like a very, very large uh, uh, deviation with respect to what the numbers are. Uh, if uh, 3 lakhs, it is very uh, difficult. You might also, you can call us up. Call us up with information on your state and any specific reservation other than uh, these that you carry. Can you just call us up with your uh, state, home state? We will uh, just check and let you know. I am not sure whether we are missing anything over here. Uh, just check and we will check and let you know. Uh, you can call us uh, tomorrow, 10 to 4.30, we will still we'll be available. We will be able to help you out. Ap application process for Telangana. I think we just explained the application process you would have gone through. If you have not gone through, just go through the uh, earlier, uh, the first part of the session. It will be up in the portal, in the Zainat portal today and the YouTube uh, tomorrow. You can go through the portal. The up, Be ready with the uh, certificates. The embassy certificate usually takes time. In order to get a signature, you might have to send certain documents to your sponsor abroad. They have to send it back. That itself will take 15 days or 20 days. So, just ensure that every certificate is ready. In case counselling starts by 6th July, then by 5th July or 4th July, sometimes even a few days prior, what will MCC do? They will ask for certificates. This is for Telangana, we understand, but we are saying, they will ask for certificates. Similarly, let us say registration for Telangana starts on 6th July. You will have to immediately upload all the certificates. At that point in time, you cannot go ask your sponsor to get your documents or every document, everything has to be ready now. For Telangana, we have clearly listed down what documents. All you need to do is get your documents ready. Whatever is mentioned over there from your sponsor. Get the documents ready and wait for Telangana management quota. Telangana has two quotas, separate registration. You have to wait for Telangana management quota in case you are looking for uh, uh, these seats. Uh, you are not an NRA is what you have mentioned. You have to get an NRA sponsor. Otherwise, you will not be eligible uh, for Telangana uh, C category C. C category is one D NRA. So, if you are not an NRA, you are not eligible for Telangana C category seats. If you are an NRA, then you will be able to pick up C category seats. Okay. So, it is a uh, Balaji Institute. Balaji College is, uh, comes under, uh, it is a private institute and it comes under, all the seats under, comes under Chhattisgarh Counseling. So, you can attend Chhattisgarh Counseling. No, not under All India Counselling. How do they do the NRI Counselling? Yes, NRI Counselling, we will also get some information if we can on that. Uh, uh, Chhattisgarh Counselling, we will just get some information on how the NRI seats are up, uh, uh, how, what is the criteria, etc. Expected cutoff for general college. See, last year, this you know, this was around 23K. We assume that this query is for All India Counselling. All India, 23K for general category, just lesser, 22.5 or 22, etc. Let us say even if there are 10,000 new seats, 1,500 seats only will get added, possibly another 1,000 or so, 2,500 or so is what we think at the All India level. But at state level, there might be movements, like let us say Mara, uh, let us say the state of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, you have to mention your state in case you are looking at uh, uh, this information for a particular state, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, it closed, uh, I'd say, at 21,000 rank, 21,000, 22,000. But Uttar Pradesh is going to get 85 percentage of the new seats in addition, right? New seats, they have given around 1,300 or 13 medical colleges is what they have approved. We have not seen the latest numbers 
there was a new notification today for PG, but uh, we have not checked if it is for UG. 85 percentage, this will itself result in an increase of, if everything goes through positively, then this itself will result in an increase of 1000 plus government seats in the state uh, of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, this is a very, very uh, uh, extended estimate. Uh, it might even come down to 600 to 700, but don't go with the estimate saying 5000 seats will increase in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, this 600-700 seats or 1000 seats increase may bring this down to 27 or 20 around that range. That is what we expect. Uh, so similarly for each state it is different. Tamil Nadu backward classes or others may close at 50,000-55,000. So from there you will have to start and look at the seat increase and uh, look at uh, information. Can I get admission in Dehradun with this rank? This is for Uttarakhand. You have to tell us uh, uh, Chandigarh I am not sure. Chandigarh, it is very difficult. You might have to go through the portal. See, these are uh, these are uh, 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 also based on category that you belong to. And if you are looking at NRI or management and the fee that you are looking at. So, just go into the portal, just uh, straight forward and then look at information. We will just uh, let you know how uh, you can do that. Okay. Uh, so, we are here. This is on the query on, let us say, Uttarakhand, Dehradun. Uh, so, we are going to Uttarakhand and uh, we'll filter out on 2023 like always and we will select uh, all india quota seats are there which is management quota seats for all at all india level these are the only set of seats available private seat seat quota are available only for uttarakhand residents you would already know that let us say we are looking at mbvs we'll just see what are the options available as far as uttarakhand is concerned so you will see that uh, we'll have to filter out on all india rank so you will see that these options went on till these ranks so it is a little tricky over here uh, Gautama Buddha, MBBS or SGGRRI uh, may, may not, these may not be possible but at 6 lakhs rank range Uttar, uh, this might be a possibility in case there is a shift because of the total number of seats increase across. So you might have to keep options open in case you are looking at Uttarakhand for this institute. The rest look very very less possibility. Uh, this is where it helps you will you'll be able to just immediately look at any information. Not only now, but during the counselling process, the entire information, just by a click of the button, you will be able to know where everything closed and uh, what decisions to take. The second query was on Chandigarh. Chandigarh possibly, let us say, the assumption is that you are looking at NRI seats. That was the assumption. But uh, you can see that if you are eligible uh, for Chandigarh uh, NRI, you can apply as NRI. You can see that there were seats available at this. Chandigarh has a priority. Uh, so, Chandigarh might allow only based on priority. If you come in top in the priority list, basically then you will be eligible for these seats. Then there is might be a possibility. You can see that one seat last was taken at this particular rank 7,60,000 by a candidate. But prior to that all the seats closed at 4,20,000. So this last candidate was at 7,60,000. There was no candidate in between. In case there has been one candidate, this is also a miss out. So pretty much very, 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 I mean we would say not 100% sure or 50% sure, very uh, ch uh, minor uh, chance, just above minor chances there. You can still try out both. In case you get lucky like this candidate, then it will be really good. Provided your priority one. So that is something you can check on. This is for NRI seats because statistical other than NRI, uh, obviously I am sure you would also know that you are not looking at those seats. And uh, uh, then uh, we would move on to the next question then. So, so that is pretty much what we have. We also have the queries on Slack. Uh, we will take up these queries. Uh, once again, uh, this are uh, uh, our uh, Zynerd subscription is available. Available at uh, two, the 2499 subscription, 2499 plus GST, which would come to around 3000. This has all India plus all states information includes all the webinar sessions that we are going to conduct complete call support on a daily basis from Monday to Saturday and it also includes uh, allotments, closing ranks, cutoffs, fee of every institute in an easily filterable format. You can get your choice list done internally. Any queries you call us, we will also always be able to help out. First access to all the video sessions that we conduct and strategy during the counselling. There are tools like allotment mapping where you will get every information on who is doing what which seats are closing, trends of 2024 will be updated and that is a, a, around uh, this price range. It is now available at 999 plus GST 
and if you use uh, the code webinar special webinar spl that is a code you will get this at a discount of 500 499 plus gst around 588 is what you will get this at this is only till june 23rd you have two more days post this we will directly move to this fee structure so you can avail that offer we are doing that for the possibly the first uh, uh, 2000 subscriptions we are almost reaching there so we'll stop it on june 23rd fine uh, this is possibly our last in the webinar series which will be exclusive from monday onwards which will be uh, for everyone from monday onwards we'll be running series uh, either on uh, youtube or on uh, uh, or on our portal we will be uploading information on every state that will be for subscribers if it is on youtube partially it will be the partial series will be available on youtube but the entire series with all the information will be available as a video for our subscribers uh, you would have already gone through the portal any queries please call us even if you have missed out your calls it is not out of intention please we will call you back but if you still have queries on how to use the portal please call us now take two three days time Look at the portal during the counseling we know that daily people will be uh, the, the, uh, our portal will be extremely busy as, as in we rank so high in terms of the number of people hitting our portal uh, they will be every after every allotment people will be coming in and uh, are looking at information from the portal so be part of it because that information will help you take right decisions and our videos will give you right guidance thanks a lot for watching uh, uh, keep uh, continuing us for more information. Thank you.